Greetings, beloved. Grace and peace to you in the name of the one who can do all things but fail, Jesus the Christ. Let me say with a grateful heart, I am honored to accept your call to shepherd Southeastern Pennsylvania Synod in her quest to do God's work through our hands. Come, Holy Spirit, was our assembly theme. I know the Holy Spirit is moving across our synod. I sense the movement at our assembly in response to the scripture. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You shared your faith stories. You told me how God is drawing you into a deeper relationship with Jesus, causing you to act differently towards others. I felt the energy, the excitement, the power as 500 young people returning from our national youth gathering in Houston, they came home with a hunger and a thirst to do more to serve others in their community. I get chills when I think of the number of people who are praying in the spirit with and for us that our Senate might be a stone cast upon the water that causes a ripple effect, not just in the ELCA, but in our five county area throughout the nation. We truly can do more together than we can alone through our relationship with God that is reflected in our relationship with others. We are marked with the cross of Christ forever. We are claimed, gathered, and sent for the sake of the world. Beloved, we make a difference. I am so excited to work with our rostered ministers, our lay leaders, our synod mission partners to help build up the kingdom of God in our midst. Yes, there is much we can do together. It starts with prayer. I promise to pray for you and I ask you to pray for me, the office of the bishop, our synod organization, and our ministry partners. Now please join me in a word of prayer. Good and gracious God, we come humbly to your throne of grace this day, a day to rejoice and be glad, glad for new beginnings as we embark on this journey of kingdom building. Continually open our hearts to your guidance. Let us speak hope to those in despair be a light to those in darkness and servants to those in need. Let us celebrate with those who rejoice. So Lord, your children simply ask in the name of Jesus that you bless us, that we might be a blessing to all those who cross our path. We offer up this prayer with joy and thanksgiving in the precious name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now let the church say, Amen.